And I'm actually going to get coffee with a boy. Look at the skin. The skin is skinned. Hey guys, welcome back to another Montana vlog. So I am here in gorgeous Montana at my home and I thought we'd start off the day strong and go for a hike. We're gonna go to this beautiful lake. I don't really share specifics of exactly where I'm hiking because I have gotten feedback in the past from people who live here year round. You know, I'm lucky enough to live here part time. I just don't wanna create any unnecessary traffic to the area you know there are a lot of people out there who don't really respect their environments when they're traveling so i know that's not you guys but if you guys are ever in montana or want to travel to montana you can always just instagram dm me or leave a comment down below and i will comment it on the side and give you guys my tips and recommendations for the area but yeah we're going on a big hike right now i have monty and storm in the back packed a sandwich have my camelback backpack and let's go Okay, so what's in my little hiking bag? So this is my Camelback. I've had one of these for many years, but this one's new, it's huge. It's a three liter. You guys don't know what this is. It essentially is a little hiking backpack and it has a water bladder in here. You fill that thing up with water and you can drink out of the hose right here. I have my hiking sticks in case it gets vertical. These are essentially like ski poles. Then I have a bear spray, which is super important to have on a hike here. I also have a bear bell. Uh, you put these on your dog. I'm gonna put this probably on Monty in case she tries to run. I have some snacks in here. Dried mandarin oranges from Trader Joe's, which are my favorite. I have an apple in there. Storm is squealing. I have my little Pendleton bag. What is in here? Sunscreen, wet wipes, mineral, loose sun. Guys, we're going. Chill. Hand sanitizer, Advil, that kind of stuff. And I have some dog treats, which you're not going to get if you don't stop squawking. And leashes. These are uh, the wild one leashes that I love. If you guys want 15% off, you can get 15% off. They created a code for me, Daniel15. I don't make any money from that, but it's just for you guys. I asked them to create a code, and I love this color. This is the new moss color. All right, let's just go. They're like, shut up, Dad. There's the Jinko Bells. Hi, where'd you run off to, crazy girl? You crazy girl in the woods. Where's your brother? Storm, get your butt back here. I see that little white fluffy tail. There he is, that crazy. Monty's got her little bear bell on. Yes, that's a good girl. Show us your bell. That's your bell. Scare away them bears. Can we go? Shall we start the hike? And we're off. Come on, let's go. We're off. Look how gorgeous that is. Dang, she is fast. Wow. Gorgeous. One of my favorite things about being out here is just kind of reconnecting with yourself and with nature and not having anything else on your mind, just kind of being present. And that's something I kind of forget to do living in a big city. So whenever I'm here in Montana, I feel like I'm at my core, my best self. I wish I could feel like that all the time, but we often get distracted by social media and things that we need to get done friends and people in our life and just remember to take some time for you connect with nature connect with yourself remember to water your own garden before everybody else's get back down here crazy oh my gosh you little deer <laughs> storms again you'll be an old man about two and a half miles later we're at the lake monty ready can you sit monty sit so I actually put her on leash because she's still a baby. I mean, she's two and a half now, but I don't really trust her. Storm, I trust because he's an old man now. Go ahead, go get him. Wow. Look at that. Is that good, guys? Good girl. Monty, you've been working so hard. Can you sit? And she? Storm, can you sit? I like to play this game with Monty where I take some treats and I throw them in the water. Monty, you 
Ya. There you go. Gotta use your brain. No, they didn't sink yet, Don. Oh, there's one. Yum. You guys already had snacks and you're shivering, so no more swimming for you. So what I made for lunch, a little wrap with cucumbers, carrots, no Monty, no. Bell peppers, hey, no. Chicken, chicken? And what are these called, these little wraps? They're kind of hard to wrap, but it's really good. I forgot to put the hummus in it. I was supposed to put hummus in it. It's not dry though, because everything else is wet. Stop it, no, you don't even want that. Well, half bit foul and stomach's fake eating the leaves. So I'm, you don't even like this. Monty won't eat that. Look at that new construction going on there. And this is what I ski in the winter. There's Monty running around. I have her little collar thing. I'll link it down below. It's a, hey, you did great with the recall. Can you sit? Monty girl, can you sit? You're a city girl living in a Montana world. So this collar is actually a vibrating collar. It makes a noise, but because she's not used to all the noises and the sounds up here in the wilderness, I go the extra precaution with her, but she's really good at just doing it on the sound. Let's go drink some water. Got some fresh spring water. Is that good? Sure is pretty here. Um, yeah, and I use the collar just for extra recall. She's really good and Storm is really good too. But I think I mentioned it in like a TikTok that went viral last summer. Being out in nature is different recall than being in the city. You don't have bears, grizzly bears, mountain lions, mongooses, what have you, deer in a regular city. And huskies especially have a high prey instinct. So Storm's recall is, it's really good. I'd say it's like B plus situation, but out here it's different. So this is what works for us. Storm has a collar too, but I trust him a bit more because he's older. But I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. And I, like I said, I just use the sound and the vibrate and that's enough because Monty is very, very sensitive to sounds and vibrations and such. You're loving it out here, huh, sweetie? Look at the view. That's Whitefish Lake, how stunning. Good morning, guys, it's the next day. And I'm actually going to get coffee with a boy, that's right, a boy, that I met in Montana the other night on a hike. And I'm taking my dogs on a little hike after, so I'm honestly wearing the most casual outfit, just like my boots and pants and a black t-shirt. I'm not trying to like show off or anything. Should we do a little morning mist? This Caudalie mist is lovely. Beauty elixir, glowing, smoothing. And we're ready. So I did a lot of, sh a lot, and a little bit of shopping for, shockingly, not for me, for my friends. So my friends Rachel and Alex had babies, Finley and Sunny. So I got them some things, look how cute these are. These little blanket thingies. I got, I think that's a deer. And then for Alex, I got the bear. I have these really cute prints. They just remind me of Montana. They're from a cute local shop in town. This one has bears and squirrels and then this one it's like little rainbows on it and then i got rachel the matching onesie and that one and this and i got them these little kits from this brand called so kind this is like a mommy and baby kit that has like a little nipple balm bubble bath baby lotion these velvet bath oil drops for the baby and then I got some belly sheet masks and this, what is this, I think this is just a moisturizer. This is called Love Lines, which is it's like a stretch mark cream. Looks really cute, watching Dry Grace. I'm gonna ship these out. And then I also am working on my year updates because I'm moving back to Europe for the fall. But yeah, how cute. Makes me want to have a baby, kind of, in my mind. But like, how can a baby have a baby? We don't know. Not gonna happen anytime soon for me, babes. It's a little bit later and I'm going to get a facial. I haven't had a facial in 
honestly like two months, but my facialist here in Montana is my really good friend Lex. So we are going over to Lex Aesthetics. If you guys are in town, definitely check her out. She's incredible and she's a very dear friend. So let's go get this skin snatch. She knows how to take care of me. She takes care of me very well. And we also have an event together in August. I will link the details down below if you are Montana based or if you're an esthetician or you just love skincare and want to learn more about that or are entering the field, you can definitely check it out. She's doing an incredible summit and there's so many wonderful speakers, including myself, Laura Lee. I believe Candice is also there, the LA facialist who is also a friend. She will be coming. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to check it out. It is fabulous and it's going to be a very small bunch of people and a lot of great opportunities to grow and to learn more about the field if you're interested. But let's go get snatched. All right, I forgot to film during the facial because I was so relaxed, but look, look at the skin. The skin is skinned. Why is it greasy? I don't know, the dogs, maybe. Did you lube it before we left yeah. the house? Literally everything goes wrong. That's good. We got cocktails instead of going paddle boarding. And chips. It's the next day, I just went grocery shopping. Do you guys wanna make a little snack together? I also stopped by Ulta and Target and got a couple things. So let me give you like a mini haul. What are you guys looking at? We're going on a hike in a little bit, so. Don't look at me like that, don't look at me. Target, I got this little over the cabinet organizer, but I'm gonna use this in the shower because I didn't like the suction cup ones, those are awful. And this was $12, so I'm gonna make it work. And then I went to Ulta and I got another one of these. It's by this brand. Tartan and Twine in this really, I mean, you guys know I love a green color, but this organizer is so good. It was kind of expensive. I think it's like $50, but it's really cute. So I bought one of these a couple weeks ago and I like it so much, so I bought another for my other stuff. So this side will be for like skincare and then, so the other side is like for makeup and then it also comes with one of these things. It says touch-ups, but I always use like, this is not a set bag. But I got one earlier and I put like all my makeup and skincare-y stuff in here. So this one is just gonna be skincare and hair product. I currently have these, but I'm not vibing with these. I kinda want them to be all in like one cute thing. So I just have two of these. Oh my God, look how organized. So in this little one, I have like any brow stuff, beauty blender, that type of thing. And then on this side, I have bronzer, I have my Jones Road, those balms that I really like, um, a little blush palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I have a powder, setting spray, the Say Beauty um, illuminator, which is really nice. I have a little tinted moisturizer, tinted bronzer, but I don't really use this when I'm in Montana, but I like to have it with me. And then I have my skincare. I kind of stopped traveling with my full sizes, but Drunk Elephant sent me a restock here. I love this Bouncy Bright Facial Mask. I've been using it since it came out like six months ago and it has done wonders for my redness. So I use this, I use the Seaferma Serum and I use the Proteiny Moisturizer. I kind of combine these all because it's really cool. You can just open this guy and make a little smoothie right there. Just one pump of each and it's epic. I love this Miracle Butter that they have. My skin's super dry. And then I love this OC Ocean Eyes. It's just like a little roller ball, like eye cream. I also have the eye cream by Willa Hendrickson. And then I have my Drunk Elephant Minis. I never used to travel with minis, but I have been an idiot for so long because these are so easy. So all my minis will go in here. And these are my Dr. Dennis Gross exfoliating body treatment. And then in this one, I have all my mists. So I have the Vitamin Nectar by Fresh, the Rose Instant Hydration by Fresh, Tan Lux, the water, if I just need like a little quick tan. And then the Naturium Niacinamide Skin Mist is really good. I got that at Target. Biafine, you can get this on Amazon. It's amazing for regenerating the skin cells if you have a sunburn. And then if I have a flare up of my psoriasis, I have my ketoconazole and the Triaminocl, whatever. And then on the side is my deodorant. With my little new face, beard oil, Moroccan oil, hydrating cream, a little hairspray. I love this brand, it's really nice and smells really nice. Moroccan oil curl defining cream this is what I use in my hair. Bum Balm by Pure for Men, amazing. If you just like wanna be super, super clean, I use this whenever I'm at the, I shower at the gym. I honestly just put it in everywhere down there and my armpits and it's amazing. It smells like peppermint. 
ladies get this for your men or for yourself. It's amazing, keeps you smelling gorgeous all day long. And then I have the Nest New York Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. This stuff is so good. Look how organized. And then I got some stuff from the Natural Food Store. They don't have bags there, they have boxes, which is cool. But I got some tomatoes. And I'm obsessed with this brand, Violife. This is a vegan cheese, and I'm not joking. It tastes better than regular cheese. I'm not even playing with you. I do not play with vegan cheese, but I just don't really like dairy because it gives me acne. And this feta is so good. We're gonna make a little feta tomato balsamic vinegar salad. And then this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make like a BLT. I got some turkey. They didn't have any like sliced turkey meat, deli meat for sandwiches, so I got that because we're going on a big hike tomorrow morning, which I'll take you guys on, and that. And then this is the cottage cheese that I like. They have one that's lactose free, but this is the only one that they had. Good culture, so good. It's amazing. And 14 grams of protein per serving. I hope this works in the shower. I didn't want a shower caddy. I don't like them, I don't like the look, but I was thinking. Oh, genius, $12. So good. Honestly, I feel like I could put it on this drawer, maybe? But would that interfere with, oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, it not have to be on this one. That's fine, We're like, out of the way. I love that one. So this stuff's gonna be coming off the floor. Okay, wait, this looks so cute. I have um, the Drug Elephant Conditioner, Native, I love this scent. I got it at Target, my shampoo from Vegemore. My cleanser, I love necessary, necessary. This body wash smells like eucalyptus, it's lovely. And then this is the body exfoliator, and then I have two more conditioners here, and this almond milk scrub, which is really nice, it smells like coffee. But. And this guy is going in this little corner. I have a little lavender face mist, my toothpaste. I got this at Target and I really liked it. My friend sent me this brand, it's called Be Kind. I'm testing out the skincare. I think they're gonna give me a little code for you guys to get a discount. I do wanna support a small, little brand, they are made in Canada and they smell amazing. This is the moisturizer, it's like a lavender moisturizer. This facial peel is lovely. I really like this hyaluronic acid serum. It's in a really big bottle. And this moisturizer, I'm also obsessed with this oral rinse. I got this at Target, toothbrush, little thing for like jewelry when I shower. Wet wipes are necessary because I do not have a bidet here. And then over here I have body lotion, some little lava stuff that I stole from a hotel if I have guests. And that's really it. Pretty simple. Hi. So for the little salad we're doing, tomatoes, feta, you can use real feta or this feta, salt, little dill weed, a little pepper, basil oil. If you do not have basil, this is everything. It's so flavorful, it's fabulous. And then a little bit of this balsamic glaze. I recently found this and I put it on everything. It's divine. For my tomatoes, I don't care about this. I will eat it, I don't care. My mom and my dad and all my family and I growing up would actually have like 200 tomato plants. We'd plant them every summer, every spring, and I would have tomatoes all summer long, so I would just eat them off the vine. We'd make tomato sauce, we'd pickle them. It was everything. A little bit of salt, just because the feta is salty, you don't need a lot. A little bit of pepper. I don't have any fresh dill because I'm not at home and I don't have my garden, but this is fine. I love dill. So I took a nice block of this feta and I will just go in, cut it like that. You can crumble it, but I kind of like to chop it up. And then I'll just do like fierce little blocks. I'm telling you, this feta is so good. Go in with your basil oil. Gorgeous. Go in with a little bit of the balsamic. Oh my God. And kind of mix it up gingerly. You could also make this with like a side of eggs or you could add cucumbers to this or olives or whatever. Fresh basil would be ideal, but I don't have any. Girl, you can't have any. Oh my God, I look greasy, don't I? All right, let's give it a little taste. Let's taste the tomato first. Mm. You can taste when a tomato is in season. So lovely. That basil oil is so good. This fraudulent feta is creamier than regular feta. It's so delicious. I'm not playing with you. Get into it. Well, wildfire season is officially here. Live in the mountain. Oh.
Well, good morning, divas. <clears throat> As you can see, the fire, I don't know where the fire is coming from, but I woke up with my lungs smoky. Like I feel raspy, raspy Lynn. I decided to not go to Glacier Park this morning. I was gonna take you guys on a really amazing hike. So instead, I'm taking a little road trip and I am going to Walla Walla, Washington, which I heard is so cute. I booked a little room in this really cute motel that allows dogs. And we're gonna take a stop at Bonner's Ferry, Idaho, because I heard there's some really good thrifting, so I'll probably take you guys along for that. Just made a coffee. Also, I love that espresso machine and that coffee grinder. They're both from KitchenAid. I'll have them linked down below. I've worked with them in the past, but I genuinely use that KitchenAid every, every single day. Also, this ice roller will be linked down below. Let me go show you how I'm leaving the house, because I am leaving back to LA in a couple days, so I'm just gonna leave from my little road trip that I'm doing right now, so I just packed the car. But let me show you how I leave the house. Make sure I didn't give you guys a little sip. Mm. It's so good. Home coffee is so great, but why does it taste so much better where, when it's from somewhere else? I wanna know. I feel like there's a psychology behind it. Mm. Okay, let me show you my antics. So I'm packing my sandwiches on the road. I, ha I love carrot juice. I'm obsessed with it, I don't know why. I really, really like it. I love this Tazo Ice Passion Tea. I mix this with water. So I'm bringing this in the cooler. I'm bringing a bubbly. I'm bringing a Lani New for some energy. I'm bringing a kombucha ginger berry, which was one of my favorites. And I'm bringing my vegan cheese. Yes, I am. I have an apple, I have some peaches and some berries and some watermelon. I'm actually not bringing this because it's about to go. It's about to go bad, but it's still good. I tried it. You want some? Can you sit? Can you be gentle? Gentle. Good girl. Storm, you want a piece? I know you're not gonna eat it. Gentile. Let's spit it, yep. You wanna look at me? Just give it to your sister. Oh! You guys wanna scream? This is how I leave my room. Blinds down. I don't want the, the perverts to look in here. Carpet vacuumed, bed vacuumed, no sheets, nothing on the bed. Everything wiped down. Bathroom mirror has been cleaned. Counter has been cleaned. Left. This is my Montana skincare. Shower clean. This has been washed and hung up to dry here. It's almost dry. Floors have been cleaned. I know it may seem a little wild, but I do this just in case I have a visitor or I have friends who are like, hey, I need to get out of town. Is there any way I can stay at your place? Or if I offer my place, or if somebody just wants to drive through Montana and wants to stay. All they have to do is go into my closet. There's fresh pillows, there's fresh sheets. They all have a beautiful scent that I add to them. Blanket, comforter, everything's right here. This is my favorite scent for linens. Rick Rack by Kit Kemp. Lavender Eucalyptus. This, it's everything to me. Kit Kemp is one of my favorite designers. She's from London, I believe. And she designed the Firmdale Hotels. She did all the interior interiors. I'm very inspired by her. She's very eclectic and colorful and whimsy. And I love that. And everything tells a story and it just feels like home whenever you stay at one of the hotels. There's Crosby Street Hotel. There's Charlotte Street Hotel. There's Soho Hotel. There's a lot. I think there's like six in London. There's there's one in New York, Soho Street Hotel. They're just all fabulous, but they're they're rather upscale and pricey, but they're so worth it. It's everything. I won't really want to meet her one day, but this is the scent in all of the rooms, and it just like truly just brings back a memory that is so sweet from when I did uh, book tours and all the press tours we used to do in the past in London, and I love the smell so much. So yeah. I love her. It is expensive, but the smell is really, really nice. But yeah, that's how I leave my room because you never know. You just never know. And I like to come back and I like to put fresh linens on the bed. I don't know what dust is out there in the, in the sky, the smoke. So I'm gonna put up the blinds. I'm gonna lock the doors tight. 
But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Man, kind of week in the life here in Montana. I really, really love it here and I'm so excited to be back in a couple weeks, but I have to get home to LA. I have a bunch of projects. I have a couple new Unmess episodes that I'm filming and some other cool things I'm working on. So I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave some love down below, but most of all, make sure to leave things better than how you found them. I love you so much, bye.